Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've got so many of my orchids in bloom. They're blooming everywhere. So I'm just really, really enjoying this time of the year when my plants are in bloom. It's like I get the harvest of all of my labor from the year on uh, watering and taking care of these beautiful plants and fertilizing. And I changed something up right at the first of the year that I wanted to share with you all. I did an experiment. It's been, let's see, three months since I've been experimenting um, with CalMag. And I just wanted to share with you some thoughts that I have about CalMag. Um, calcium is a really big topic um, with orchids these days. Uh, and for good reason, because when your orchids are blooming, um, they're using up their calcium and their magnesium stores. And so, um, you know, it's important to give them enough calcium and magnesium, especially while they're in bud and blooming. Um, before, a lot of times people had the idea that you couldn't fertilize them with anything while they were blooming. And I have come to the conclusion that that is erroneous. Um, I have been um, fertilizing these at very low doses while they're blooming and they're just doing very, very well. Um, my thoughts on calcium. Um, I used to get most of my orchids from an orchid farm in Virginia, and I never did have any problems with uh, any type of a calcium issue. And then a few years ago, I started getting most of my orchids from Florida, which they don't have calcium in their water. And so, after they would come out of bloom, I would just notice that like the leaves would split or the tips of the leaves would be brown. And I thought, what is going on? And I found out that is calcium deficiency that causes that. Um, calcium uh, helps the cell walls to be strong. It helps all of your new growths to be strong. So I thought, okay, let's try an experiment. I'm gonna just see which one is better. My tap water, that's high in calcium, mind you, that I've used for years, or would CalMag be better? And I just thought I would kind of tell you what I've noticed since I've been using CalMag. And this is the product that I am referring to. You see it says one, zero, zero. It has, okay, I'm just gonna show you the chemical content composition of this. Total nitrogen. It has 1% nitrate nitrogen, which is very easily broken down. It's got 5% calcium and 1.5 magnesium, 0.1 iron. Okay, I use Better Grow Fertilizer, as you all know. It does not have calcium in it. So I was watering with my tap water so I'm thinking, okay, I want to give this a try. So what I'm doing is in my 6.0 pH water, okay, I'm using just a little bit of ex extra Epsom salts because the amount of magnesium in CalMag isn't enough for orchids. Orchids bloom a lot, so they need that extra magnesium. But I use just a little bit extra magnesium, as you can see. This is what we call in the south a pinch, a pinch, just a few crystals you can see. All right, this is about as much cow mag that you need for a gallon of water when you're watering your plants. So you need to get some pipettes or like a, an eyedropper would also get it out of that bottle. This bottle, it comes very, very full and it is it would be impossible for you to get out this exact amount. Um, just impossible. This is 16 drops out of this medical pipette. So you really do need, yes, your handy dandy TDS. Yes, you need this because if you're gonna be supplementing with calcium and magnesium, you kinda need to make sure you're not do going overboard. There's really no need to. This is really all that they would need. Um, what I like about CalMag 
is that you can also use this um, with fertilizer. You have to you have to put this in your water first. Put this in, then your fertilizer, and it tells you that on the instructions. Whenever you're using fertilizer, any type of supplements, um, I like to make sure I read the instructions every time until I'm really sure of what I'm doing with this product. And it has worked really well. So let me give you the exact um, parts per million that I am adding to my water. I'm adding 20% of Epsom salts with 50 parts per million of the CalMag. Okay, so you got 70 parts per million there. Like I said, if you have a TDS monitor, these things are really, really good. At least until you start seeing the amounts that you're going to use to get used to it. You know, you, you just really need to see what you're using so that you don't overdo it. And so this is how much I'm using. And what I'm doing is every time I water, instead of just using tap water, I'm using this. And this calcium is more readily absorbed because it is chelated with iron. Um, iron is also important, with, you know, with orchid growth. So you're kind of getting all three of them in one product. I also like the fact that it's got that little tiny bit of nitrogen in it. And I'll tell you why. Let me just give you an example here. This is my beautiful fowl, Sandy Beach and um, she's been in bloom for months. And also she's got a primary spike way down at the bottom underneath that huge root. See right in here, she's got a spike. Also right here, she's got a secondary spike. So she's going to be blooming again soon. Well, look what's going on. After she bloomed for so long, do you see this brown tip? and this watery mark right here. She needs more nitrogen, she needs more calcium and magnesium. Um, the more I fertilize with the CalMag, the more this is going away. This was very marked when I started the CalMag three months ago, and now I can tell it's just starting, it's starting to green up. Um, I had a dendrobium do this back in the springtime, and I continued to give it nitrogen, but it was springtime, and, you know, it was growing. The dendrobium was growing very, very quickly. So, I am, what I'm doing right now is once a week, this one gets CalMag, and then once a week, it gets about 180 parts per million of better grow fertilizer. Um, this one is in water culture, as you see, and I can see that this leaf is just greening up. I like to tell you all things that I can show, that I can quantify, that I can prove, uh, because really, I don't want to tell you something that isn't going to make a difference in your orchids. If it's not going to make a difference, I, I'm really not interested in doing it, to be honest with you. And, you know, why would you do that? Um, I wouldn't tell you all to do something that really didn't work for me. And this has worked for me. And this is my Fal Baldwin's Kaleidoscope. And as you see, it's got this huge spike. This thing is like, oh my goodness, I'm just so amazed. I've been following the same fertilizing regimen with this one, and it is in bark. And I have never seen a spike grow so quickly as this one. So I'm thinking that the CalMag is really kind of magical stuff. And I've also been giving it to Buddy Orchid. You know that I'm kind of very particular about Buddy Orchid. Yes, there he is. And I've been, instead of just watering this while it's in bud, I have been uh, fertilizing it with CalMag. Not with the regular fertilizer, not yet. Um, but as you see, um, he's getting ready to, to bloom. And I believe that this has been a really, really good thing with just that little bit of nitrogen too to kind of sustain uh, the plant growth because fowls do grow like Vanda's all the time. So as you see, I think everybody is blooming beautifully. I just wanted to share that little 
um, update with you all about the CalMag, and I will continue to update you with CalMag because, as you all know, I like to experiment with things and pass my findings on to you all. Um, I like to tell you what works and what doesn't work, and this has really worked well. So you all be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed, and we'll talk to you next time.